Oh my god, I've been wanting to do this video for over a year now. And I never found the right moment. Because... Well, I want to talk about the apocalypse. Or what comes after. And a year ago when I originally wanted to do this video... Mm, the pandemic started, and first I thought, hey, um, wouldn't it be hilarious to do a video like this right now? And while I was still making plans for the video, um, stuff got a lot worse, so I ditched the idea. But I think now, even if things are still terrible, I still want to do this video and for that I want to do a little wood burning on a piece of wood like I did here and yeah so um, I'm gonna do a little wood burning and talk over the topic I want to talk about so yeah but before I get started, feel free to follow me on my social media on Instagram and Twitter at Commander Nikki, just like my channel name. And now, let's go. Look at The Last of Us, Far Cry, New Dawn, Fallout, The Hundred, Horizon Zero Dawn, Chernobyl, even though it's a fucking tragedy. And tell me there isn't some kind of beauty in that stuff. Just take a look at the landscape in The Last of Us, The Hundred, Horizon Zero Dawn, and Far Cry New Dawn. It's so beautiful to see how Mother Nature took back what's rightfully hers. Overgrown cities, vibrant colors, ruins turned into plant paradises. It all looks so pretty. And a part of me? wants to live there, even though those worlds are dark and dangerous. And even if it's not as pretty and colorful, there's still a strange longing in me for those kind of scenarios. The abandoned amusement park in Chernobyl, playgrounds that haven't been visited by children in decades. There's something really alluring about this eeriness. I can't explain it, but... It's very cool. Even though, especially in the case of Chernobyl, it's tied to a very real tragedy. And... Being... Interested in such a way into a thing like that is probably not the best thing to do, but I can't help it. It's probably pretty normal for humans to be interested in such stuff, like what's out there in space? What is hiding in the Mariana Trench? The unknown? That's amazing. And interesting. And if you look at Fallout and The Last of Us, you see something else that is just amazing. The perseverance and resilience of humanity. Taking sports stadiums and building whole settlements out of it that's super cool and so clever. Communities forming and sticking together, almost bringing things back to normal. And if not really normal, at least a new kind of normal, with a kind of sense of security that wouldn't seem likely in a world like that. Diamond City, The Wolf Stadium, Good Neighbor, Jackson. Far Harbor, the Severfights Island, all those places in Fallout and The Last of Us have formed settlements and communities that give you a feel of normalcy in these games that 
take place in such a dark and hopeless scenario. So either it's pretty landscapes or a glimmer of hope in total darkness. That's why I love the apocalypse in pop culture. And it's done. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the process. Um, and yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, comment down below. Um, do you want to see more of this? What do you think about my thoughts on the whole apocalypse thing? Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on my social media on Instagram and Twitter at CommanderNikki, just like my channel name. And until I figured out what I can upload that next, watch my other stuff. Bye.